All right, you guys know the drill. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through five stocks with dividends between about 4% to 6% that have some upside to them. So stay tuned and I'll go through them very quickly today and just open your eyes to different stocks, see what's available out there for you. So go ahead and stay tuned. So the first one we're going to go through is Watsco. Its um, sticker symbol is WSO and its price is around $159. So it's $159 per share. So it's a little bit higher per share price on this type of stock. Carries around a 4% dividend, but this has got a pretty good upside. They're actually in the refrigeration, cooling, and heating business. So I'll go ahead and show you a little bit about this stock here in a second, and then we'll move on to the next. Alrighty, so the first stack we're talking about is going to be Watsco Incorporated. It's going to be WSO is the symbol. It's $159 a share. As you can see, let's just get into this kind of quickly. Basically, over the last maybe, uh, what is this, four to five years, looks like it's gone from about $100 up to about $160. So it's currently at about $160 right now. This stock carries a 4.01% uh, annual dividend. So it's actually going to be a pretty good dividend. And they've actually been going up for quite a bit now. Uh, every year it's going to be increasing that. And the market cap on this company is about $6 billion. They have about 5,200 employees in 560 different locations. So it's a little bit larger company. They actually are in the HVAC industry. So basically air conditioning, heating, everything like that. So it's an expanding industry. That's not going away anytime soon. Very steady. Here's the graph over five years. Let's look at the max graph here. As you can see, this company really took off in the 90s up to now. I mean, obviously, you may have missed the boat a little bit on this, but we think there's some upside to it. Had a little bit of a downfall here, basically, uh, you know, when the 2018 hit, you know, kind of went down. Obviously, a lot of stocks did at that time, but it's working its way back up, so it's pretty consistent. So go ahead and check out this stock, Watsco Inc., WSO. All right, so the next one is going to be Abvive. It's basically a pharmaceutical medical company or a biomedical phar pharmaceutical company, and they do a lot of drugs. Uh, Humira is one of the drugs that you've probably heard of that they've actually done, and uh, it carries this one carries a little bit higher, about 5.53% dividend, and they've actually raised their dividends quite a bit each year. I mean, it's like goes up like around 10% a year, um, I, you know, so it's around almost 6% total yearly dividend right now, and that dividend basically has been going on increasing for about 47 straight years. So it's a good stock to invest in dividend wise um, but it also has some upside as well they've actually gone through a couple of things recently with uh, losing a patent and things so in the short term it's been a little bit down but this has got a good potential to go up possibly so take a look at this stock as well all right so the second stock is abvi inc it's basically abbv 77 dollars uh, basically roughly and some change on the stock Here's the uh, basic uh, max symbol here. It's basically back in 2014 to 2019. You can see it's got a little bit of a down crease here uh, at the end of you know 2018 to 2019. A little bit of reasoning for that is it did lose a patent. It's got a couple probably coming out soon though. So this company's in the pharmaceutical, bio, biopharmaceutical company. So it does have a lot of drugs. A lot of the drugs that you see is Humana. Um, it's basically, you see a lot of commercials for that that treats like Crohn's disease and things like that. So Humana is one of its drugs. Um, it's a pretty big company. It's got a hundred and 14 billion dollar market cap and it's basically revenue is 32 billion a year um, it's out of north chicago so basically check this out it's got some upside it's got you know some some things with the uh, patents and you know decreasing recently that actually caused the stock to go down but if you look at this stock on the horizon you know it carries a 5.53 dividend too and it also has some upside coming up after this little downfall here so check this one out too ad buy all right, so the third one's gonna actually be a little bit different. It's gonna be Six Flags Entertainment. So basically the actual stock symbol is six, S-I-X. And uh, so this, this uh, is gonna be about a 5.98% uh, dividend as well, so it's a very high dividend. A lot of people think, oh, amusement parks and things like that. Well, Six or Six Flags is going to be the second largest. Uh, obviously, Disney's the first largest amusement park company, and they're actually Six Flags is actually looking to expand into China. It's being slowed down right now by the tariffs and things like that that are going back and forth with us. But once that kind of opens up, and hopefully in the next year or so, um, it's got some upside to the stock. So let's dive into this one, and I'll show you a little bit about this one too. All right. So everyone's probably been to like Six Flags Great America and things like that. So this is Six Flags, uh, Six Flags Entertainment. Corp 5488 um, and here's basically the five years it went from 40 to about 54.48 uh, so it's got some upside there but it does carry a big almost six percent dividend here so it's 5.98 percent huge dividend um, and also if you look at the max obviously it's got a steady increase on the max this is uh, since way back in 2010 so over nine years um, this is about a 4.62 billion uh, market cap um, it's got 25 different locations. Again, it's the second biggest to Disney for entertainment. And if it opens up in China after these tariff deal goes, I'm just having a little headwinds with that. Um, obviously, this little bit of downfall here could really open it up. So that's the potential there is if it, you know, the China relations go good in the, in the next coming months or years. 
All right, so the fourth one's gonna be Stag Industries, and it's actually a, a REIT, a real estate REIT, and it's basically gonna be, the sticker symbol's S-T-A-G on this one. And they're actually pretty boring, which is actually good. They carry about a 4.85, somewhere in there, to 5% dividend uh, per year. And they actually, you know, they're kind of just distribution, uh, manufacturing buildings and things like that. So it's really boring that they actually, for their REIT, the type of uh, real estate that they actually invest in. But it's actually a good thing because they actually handle about four or 500 properties throughout 38 states. And it makes them you know, pretty attractive just because it's one of those stocks that don't have a lot of uh, ups and downs. They're pretty consistent over the years. And like I said, boring, sometimes beautiful. So keep that in mind and uh, let me go ahead and dive into this one. All right, here's one of my favorite out of the five different stocks, Stag Industries Inc. The symbol is S-T-A-G. It's about $29.51 a share. Um, if you look at five years, it's you know gone from 25 to uh, 29. So it's only, you know, it's gonna give you a little bit of an uptick there, but it's got about a four to 5%, 4.85, really 4.85% dividend. Um, it's a 3.71 billion market cap. Um, it's out of Boston, and they basically do. It's a real. It's actually a, a REIT, so it's a real estate investment trust company. But they're actually, again, pretty. Uh, you know, they do manufacturing, distribution buildings, and things like that. So, uh, if you look at the max again on, on their stock symbol, way back in uh, what is this, 2011, it was around uh, 12 dollars, and now it's up to almost 30 so it's basically got a steady increase plus that almost five percent dividend and it's very boring which is slow it's a good income stock so keep that in mind and when you're looking at this one do all your investing and stuff like that and research for investing but uh it's a good stock to look at all right so the fifth one is going to be main street capital and the sticker symbol on this one's m-a-i-n main just straightforward main and this one actually has got about a six percent dividend so it's got a little bit higher dividend and they actually uh the name of the company again is main street capital so they actually um looks like they do a lot of just capital capital to lower and mid-sized companies. Um, they help them either transition company you know, to a different, when they, they get bought out or something like that, or if a company needs capital. Um, so go ahead and check them out. They basically do things again, helping different companies either grow or, or move ownership and things like that. So it's kind of um, a little bit different than the other ones I talked about the stocks today, but it's a good uh, possible uh, upside in the stock as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at this one. And then finally is this company, which is gonna be Main Street Capital Corporation. It's stock symbols Main, M-A-I-N. It's about 40 bucks a share. Um, here's the five years. It was around $30. Now it's up to around $40. So you have a pretty good increase there over uh, around five years. But this carries another big 5.93 annual dividend. Um, if you look at the max too, it's got a great uptick in symbol. Um, it was way back in uh, 2008. Uh, so basically 10 or 11 years ago, it was at $9. So you basically uh, almost, you know, four times your 400% increase plus the 6% dividend. These guys do uh, the market cap's about 2.5 billion. They're out of Houston, Texas, but they basically provide capital and basically transition capital, things like that for companies in the mid to small type. Um, you know, they're still large companies, but kind of the mid cap companies they're gonna be providing this to. So um, anyways, this is a great company. It's got a good potential as well. Definitely do your research on it and uh, take a look at this one. Alrighty, thanks again for watching guys. So basically those are five stocks to take a look at. Again, I don't recommend any of the stocks I put in here. I mean, you have to do your own research. Just wanna open your eyes to what's out there. So if you like investing, these just hopefully helps you kind of look at hey that stock's out there let me go ahead and invest in or look at it a little bit more and, and then maybe i'll invest in it maybe i won't so everyone's a little bit different so keep that in mind and definitely do what you need to do also uh, obviously i make these videos a couple of weeks so if you could please subscribe to my channel it's going to help me out and i'll talk to you guys in about a week thanks